Good morning. Where did we leave off yesterday? Let me think. Mm. Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Moses, Go. After the tenth plague, he said, Go. He said, Leave. Get going. I don't want to see you anymore. So, Moses got his people. And he got them all together. And they left. But they weren't gone long. When Pharaoh said, whoa, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can't. I would have to make the buildings myself. So he sent his men after them. But God was there to protect them. As they traveled, a dust storm behind them blocked out the sun. And the chariot drivers could not see where they were going. They could not follow. They tried, and they finally got close to catching up. And Moses and his people got to the edge of the sea, and they couldn't get across. They couldn't under said, Moses, did you leave us out here so we could be caught again? And God told Moses, hold your staff out over the sea. And he did. And the winds came, and the winds blew and blew and blew. They made a path in the water where it was dry. And Moses and his people crossed that to the other side of the sea. And they're up on the land, and Pharaoh's men showed up. They wanted to bring them back. And Pharaoh was very angry. And he sent his men in to go get them. And they did. They went in. They were traveling across it. Everybody was scared. And Moses turned around and he held out his staff again over the water. And the water filled in. Taking all of Pharaoh's men downstream. They were now safe. It's quite a story. Hmm? Well, that is why we celebrate Passover every year to remember that story, to recall the reasons for what happened. And one of the things we do is we create a Seder plate. This is a Seder plate. And we put these items in. And the question you might have is, why do we do that? I'll let you know. Okay, here we go. We'll start with salt water. Salt water represents the tears of the slaves while they worked hard for Pharaoh. And where's our herbs? Horseradish. Bitter herbs. They're there to represent how bitter slavery was. What else do we have? Ooh, Mr. Bob has to get his book. And then the egg, a roasted egg. It represents the spring, the circle of life, you know, like Lion King. Life always comes around. And the haraset, which the texture and the color make up the mortar that the slaves used when they were building for Pharaoh. And the bone is the sacrifice. What else we have? We have parsley. That is part of what we dip in the salt water to remember, to remember our tears. When you get upset and you cry, if you ever taste your tear, they're salty. Just part of the way we're made. So this is the setup for the Seder plate. What we can do today is we can make our own Seder plate. And how do we do that? 
find out. You ready? Okay. We'll set this here. And we will come over. I have some stuff right here. Whoa! Look what I have. I have some baking cups. I have baking cups. I have a paper plate. Cool. This is kind of a small paper plate. I'm sure there are bigger paper plates. We take these and we decorate them. You can put colors on them. You can take little pieces of paper on them to make it look really special. And then we take them. I kind of fold them in a little. And we glue them onto the plate. See? Glue one. Or you can tape them. If you don't have any glue, always find something else. And the same with the others. We put one, two, three, four, and number five. And we put them in like this. And we glue them down. We decorate them. You can use your markers, your crayons. And then we set them on the plate. And that's what I'd like you to do today. And remember these, because I'm going to ask you about them on Friday, okay? And we'll go over our Shabbat blessings as well. So we do this, we glue them all down, but don't forget to make a design. Make them look very nice, okay? Mine already has a design on the paper plate, but I didn't make that one. And I'll do mine today, and I'll show it to you tomorrow, okay? And tomorrow, we'll talk a little more about Passover, okay? The Seder, the four questions, okay? You have a nice day. Get outside if you can. It's supposed to rain today, but try to get outside, okay? Have a nice day. Miss you all.